TIFU getting high before a vaccine. TIFU getting my second dose of the COVID vaccine. I took the day off of work so that I could be free of work in case of any side effects. Since I took the whole day off, I decided to start my day with a wake and bake session and got nice and stoned via my dab pen. As I arrived to the vaccine center with my girlfriend I decided it wouldn't hurt to take one more hit of the dab pen. We walked in, checked in, and finally got our second dose. All was well for another five minutes. Just a minute or two after we sat down in the waiting area I begin to read all of the possible side effects of the vaccine before looking over at my GF and saying, I probably shouldn't have smoked. Before coming in, I could feel the panic attack coming on and was powerless to stop it in the moment. Next thing I knew I was waking up to a doctor and my girlfriend holding my legs and arms while I was leaned back on the bench, drenched in sweat, tired, and quite confused with a loud ringing in my ears. Apparently just seconds after saying I shouldn't have smoked, I dropped my phone and passed out due to a vasovagal response. I spent the next 30 minutes with my feet on a chair drinking apple juice and vomiting the chili cheese fries that I'd had for lunch before the appointment. After about an hour total I was able to walk out of the office to well wishes from the kind strangers around me who must have thought I'd had a reaction to the vaccine. I've now discovered that my body will hit the restart button when I'm feeling extremely anxious while high and thinking about medical side effects. Thankfully I've had no other serious side effects other than a sore arm and some slight embarrassment. TL. D or I got stoned before a vaccination appointment and passed out from an anxiety attack after getting vaccinated followed by public vomiting in the waiting area. As someone who also has vasovagal syncope to unknowns triggers, drink lots of water and exercise. It's not fun cracking your head on the concrete floor at the mall in front of 30 people. So I feel your pain. I also knew someone who had it because of a tweaked nerve in his neck and was fixed with therapy and exercise. If you feel the spin coming you have about 5 seconds to get down on the floor and put your feet up. Or you can try grabbing your trap muscle and squeezing the ever-living shit out of it until the pain shoots your heart rate back up. Learned that one from the paramedic who stopped a second spin. This comment section leads me to believe half of our Tifu is high on something right now. As for me, well, I'm not. I guess I picked the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. WebMD that IRL. Haha. <laughs> pulled a fast one on the vaccine. You can't hurt me with side effects if I pass out. Hit my head on floor. And die. Quote. I was gonna get the vaccine. But then I got high I was gonna get my second shot. But then I got high now I'm sipping apple juice. And I know why. Hey hey cuz I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. La di da 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 da. Till that the vasovagal response is a fancy way of saying I fainted from stress. Brain to brain. Oh shit. We're panicking bro. Do we just unplug it and plug it back in and see if it fixes the problem? Brain. Yeah what's the worst that could happen? The real lesson is don't read those way too long lists of side effects. Sometimes they can even cause a placebo effect. You are propaganda on an anti-vax website somewhere. Got stoned for an optician's APPT before. Kept cracking up when she was looking in my eyes real. Close. I never understood why people think it's a good idea to get high and do stuff. Just stop at the get high, you've done enough. Now enjoy it. Oh mate, 
Oh mate. You poor thing. And thanks for this. Note to self. Do not get stoned before needles. Fark. Yeah I found out the same thing happens to me in high school health class. No fun boss. Bounced my head off the desk next to me during the don't do steroids video and lost a contact in my eye for two weeks. Oh god. It's like your life became a cartoon for a moment. But in all seriousness. Glad you're alright and that you haven't had any serious side effects from the vaccine. Why would you even get high right before a medical appointment? Yikes reminds me of greening out. Wouldn't wish nausea on anyone. Hey bro. This happens to me every time I have a shot. The weed may not have had anything to do with it. But maybe it changes your body chemistry enough to put you in the condition. Nothing is going to stop it for me. Just a part of getting a shot every time. Had it happened to me today getting my first COVID shot. Managed not to throw up. But definitely freaked people out. Really hurt my legs falling out of the chair. And I heard a lady say, maybe we'll come back tomorrow. I went today for my first shot. I was insanely hungover. Everything they asked me before I got the shot like, do you have a headache? Nausea? Weakness? Etc. Etc. Yes. But it was my hangover. I said I was all good. Sat down for the shot and let out a huge sigh as I immediately got crazy dizzy and nauseous. She said, oh don't worry. You'll be fine. It doesn't hurt. I wasn't worried about the shot. Needles are cool in my book. Then the list of side effects after? How do I know if it's the shot or my hangover? Hey op, this is probably super buried in your inbox. But you need to call the medical office and explain what happened so they can fix their reporting. You may not know it. But they had to report that side effect to the CDC as a severe reaction. It's going to get filed in a record forever. And if it's unique or rare it's going to get analyzed by a ton of people to figure out what the fuck happened to you. And how it can be prevented or tested for in the future. It will be embarrassing to fess up to it. But it really, truly, actually is important to make sure it gets properly documented as a TIFU instead of as a serious medical incident. You, double jack. While weed can be a nice recreational drug with health benefits let's not forget that it can also start, enhance psychosis and paranoia, among other long-term side effects. And any medical rendezvous should be taken sober. No weed, no alcohol nor any other non-prescribed drugs and nothing else elicite please. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.